Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm sure you have. It's been a few hours. Now, I was originally intending this video to be my 10k special, but, um... <laughs> It's not quite that anymore. Like, legitimately, I'm growing so fast that I can't even get this video out in time. Like, this video has been finished for a while, and I'm re-recording the intro because within a day, I've completely shot past the goal. And that, it legitimately means, like, so much to me. Like, you have no idea. Like, this is all thanks to you guys subscribing and sharing my videos, what have you. Like, I truly could not have gotten here if it wasn't for the support of, like, the few fans that I have on this platform. Like, it's truly gotten to a point where I used to be able to answer and respond to every single comment that i got but i'm getting so many that i can't possibly respond to everybody which bums me out slightly but um at the same time it's it's really exciting because i'm i'm, g I'm gaining more followers that i can add to this amazing community of mine so i just want to say this before we get into the video um thank you thank you so much you have no idea how much this means to me so on my discord i made a q a 10k channel uh, also if you're not in the discord uh, links in the description uh it's super fun we got a lot of really chill people on there and if you do fan art uh, and you want it to be at the end of a video, we have a fan art channel in there and I'll pick from there and add them to the ends of my videos. So I asked everybody to put down a question uh, of what they wanted me to answer and um, I'm gonna go through some of my favorites. Obviously, I can't go through them all, but um, I'm skipping the ones because God, you know, some of you some of you some of you are down bad you need to chill okay first question we have is from aim they said will you ever do a face reveal maybe one day i'm still a little unsure um if i want to put my face on the internet but it's definitely something i've been thinking about maybe if i get to a certain subscriber count i'll do it like a hundred thousand or something like that like if there's a lot of demand for it sure maybe i'll do it if i have a big enough community and you know i want to bring everybody closer together sure i'll, I'll definitely do a face reveal especially since it would be great to um attend some conventions and meet up with some of you guys because um you know i do want to be active of my community so for sure quandale dingle says how accurate does your character resemble you face wise to be honest i don't know personally i don't think he resembles me very much like he's a little plain looking uh but i have a pierced ear and i dye my hair a lot so I don't know. Maybe if I dyed my hair brown again and then took out my earring and wore a gray shirt and blue pants, sure. But I don't know. My character always looks perpetually tired, which I honestly, I guess that that I guess that's pretty accurate. Sword Swinging Kitty said, "Who slash what inspired you most to start making animated story times?" So I suppose in my head, two people come to mind. Uh, I used to watch a lot of Arrow Story, um, but I think my biggest like inspiration because I've been watching them ever since I was a kid was probably Swoozy. When I was around maybe third. I watched his first like cheating in middle school thing and it hit so close to home and I remember how that made me feel I felt like someone actually related to me and I kind of wanted to give that feeling to other people because I, I, I like to make sure you know people don't feel like they're alone like we all have weird moments like that and I feel like these videos just really drive that home and, and make people feel better about themselves not to mention I just had a lot of random stories in my head that I was like you know it'd be fun to tell these stories so yeah I, I would say those two were my biggest inspirations Ari says do you have any pets I do indeed I I recently moved out of my childhood home, but I have two pets, a cat named Chloe and a dog named Eevee. Yes, after the Pokemon. Here's a picture of both of them. They're adorable, I know. Nero says, how did you get into anime? Oh, I gotta go way back for this one. So I had never heard of anime until I was around 12 years old. I, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I was still in middle school at the time, but um, I was having a sleepover with one of my friends and he turned on uh, a show called Sword Art Online. And let me just defend myself. As I've gotten older, I've realized that there are better animes out there but as a child mm, damn sword on online is the coolest shit ever like it's such a power fantasy for a young child and from there i just asked my friend like dude what is this type of show and he said it's anime and so i immediately went home and just googled like anime like a list of anime and i began watching as many as i possibly could and then it kind of just developed into the person that i am today huge weeb chili vibe says why do you think you get 1k subs a day i have absolutely no idea i don't think what i do is very entertaining from a lot of people um so i'm actually very curious of, of why I'm, I'm growing so quickly um i don't know Zed asks, how tall am I? Oh, Zed, you will be pleased to know that my body is 5.8 feet of pure destruction and terror. I can hear you all running for the hills now. Minty wants to know what my zodiac sign is. I am in fact a Leo, so uh, do with that information what you will. 
Eddie says, do you have a job other than doing videos? I mean, considering I haven't even started making money off of this YouTube channel, yeah, yeah, I work as a PA on film sets in LA. It's really fun, but it's a lot of really back-breaking work. It's like 12-hour days, and they can run for months, so. Definitely not something I want to do forever. If I could possibly do this for a living, I would probably love to. Not to mention, sitting down and making a video a day has brought me more joy in the past couple years than most things. Will we get a P.O. box to send you stuff? I would love to open a P.O. box. Uh, probably not anytime soon, uh, because I live in a really small, dinky apartment, uh, and I don't really have the money to open a P.O. box right now. But hey, if things in this YouTube take off and I'm able to make good money off of it, I would love to open a P.O. box. Indy asks, do your friends keep up with your channel, or is it like a Hannah Montana situation? I barely tell anybody about my channel. The only people who know about my channel are, uh, my sister, my brother, and my parents. Uh, I don't really tell anybody else about it though. Mainly because I like to keep it a secret and I like to kind of make the content I want without having to like worry about, you know, them being like, oh, that's me or oh, that that was probably me. Maybe if I get like bigger and I can make money off of it and it's like a career, then I would I would probably tell everybody. But for now, it's, it's just something that I'm going to keep on the down low. Draconath asks, what direction do you think or want your channel to go? I think pretty much what I've been doing. I would love to keep up with the story time videos. I got a lot to tell. I mean, I would love to incorporate some gaming stuff, maybe stream a lot more when I can get better internet. I'm not very up to date on a lot of video games, um, so maybe if you guys have any suggestions you want me to play on stream or for a video, then just let me know. But I, w I would love to do more gaming and uh, stick with the story time videos as well. Kneecaps asks, talk about how you dance. For those of you who are on YouTube and aren't in the Discord, uh, I, I said that I was a dancer IRL. I've been doing tap and jazz dancing for about six years of my life because my original uh, job uh, that I wanted to be in was musical theater. I wanted to be on Broadway, so I pretty much trained uh, almost my entire life to uh, be on Broadway. So yeah, that was my original, uh, that was gonna be my job. Bunny Baby asks, you single? Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to rub it in though. The subcage asks, strategy for not getting burnt out? That's a great question. Um, I make, try at least, make a video a day. If not, I like to post three times a week, which can get relatively demanding for sure. Granted, I just started, um, so I don't feel like I'm at the point where I could get burnt out, but it's definitely something that I've considered while making my videos, and I kind of approach it uh, as a similar way that you would approach uh, doing a Broadway show. If you ever get into a Broadway show, you will be doing that Broadway show every night, eight days a week, for months, if not years, sometimes. And the absolute best way to um, make sure you don't get super burnt out on it is um, you have to find a way to approach the show as if you're doing it for the first time. Do something slightly different each time. Keep it as exciting as possible. That's why I'm trying to explore new avenues early, just so I have options um, and different ways to go. So if I don't want to do a story time video one day, if I'm feeling burnt out on that, I can switch over to something like my video game things or maybe something different. It's all about diversity. You don't want to do one thing too many times um, and, and risk um, losing the passion. I would say that would that would definitely be my advice. Uh, Marin or Marine, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, said merch. I don't know. I didn't know you guys wanted merch um i wasn't sure if i was even big enough to sell merch nor do i even know how to create merch um but hey if enough people ask for merch i will i will make a merch store uh bunny baby asks worst anime for amateurs and veterans oh man that's a good question uh there's not a lot of animes that i dislike honestly i would say uh, i know this is low-hanging fruit but um uh, if you're gonna watch sword art online uh just enjoy the first season <laughs> And uh, don't expect anything from the second one. It's just extremely underwhelming, and I know a lot of you already know this. But I'm actually not 100% sure. Um, most animes, I can tell if I'm going to like it through the first episode. And if I don't like the first episode, then I just click off. But if you want a recommendation for a really, really good anime, um, watch To Your Eternity. Uh, it's one of the best animes I've ever watched. Successfully made me ugly cry. It's bro what's ugly cry of approval. Onyx says, what things make you the most anxious or cause the most anxiety. I would say ever since I started living on my own, um, trying to meet California's crazy uh, rent is uh, pretty stressful, especially since my main job is mostly freelance. Uh, it's not exactly stable work. It's pretty much uh, people reach out to me or I reach out to them and then we plan out how many days I'm working. 
so it's really stressful to know that um you know for for the whole month i need to be working a certain amount of days to be able to cover my rent uh, i would say that's probably the most stressful thing in my life at the moment and the final question i'm going to take just to kind of leave this off on a more inspirational happy note uh, uh marine or marin sorry again um uh, says any tips on getting started for YouTube? I mean, I feel like I'm not exactly the person to answer this question just because I'm I'm so new and I'm still learning so much about the platform. But to be honest, the the one thing I think that got me the the most like into it and that has actually shown me some success is uh, consistency. I've had a few other channels before. I won't I won't say what their names are, but I've had probably maybe eight channels throughout my entire life that I've started and just stopped doing because I didn't see the growth immediately. And I think that's what discourages a lot of people from starting a YouTube channel. It's like, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna get any views. Oh my God, it's it's super, it's super competitive. But I think the thing that we need to take away uh, from this, and I think this is a great life lesson in general, is just, um, just do, do it. it. If you wanna do something and you're like, oh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do it. Don't, don't wait until tomorrow, just do it. And then once you started doing it, stay consistent. I could have stopped posting um a while ago and i would not have seen this big of growth but i kept posting and the more i posted the bigger it got now i'm at a point where i grow really consistently and really fast and that's all due to the fact that i kept pushing out videos and i got picked up by the algorithm granted i still have such a long way to go before i'm even able to use this as my career but i'm it's a start and that's where everybody has to start at the starting line and you can apply this to anything if you if you're a person who wants to lose weight uh don't be discouraged if you don't see the results immediately because of course you're not going to see those results but i promise you if you can stay consistent and do it try it for at least a month a month straight of just doing it and see what results you get i promise you things will change that's probably the best advice i could possibly give is just uh stay consistent and trust me if i can do this you all can do this as well and if this is something that you do want to do then you 100 percent have my support and that's going to wrap it up for our q a today i'm sorry if i couldn't get to your question uh but maybe i could do a part two if you guys want to hear me answer um all the rest of the questions um thank you guys so much for being here if you made it to the very end of the video uh please subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you see and uh please le leave a comment down below of a question that you may have because i know that you know some people in my discord get special privileges but if you do want to ask a question on youtube i don't mind going through youtube questions as well anyway thank you guys for being here and i'll see you in the next one